What's up guys and welcome back to another video recap time of this pe what, with this weekend's past Six Nations rugby matches. We were treated to special, special, incredible rugby. St. Patrick, St. Patrick's Day to remember, for some of you if you can remember, um, what a weekend we were truly treated. Before we get into this one, firstly massive congratulations to Ireland Six Nations champions Grand Slam winners, absolutely unbelievable stuff. You deserve it, so I hope you celebrate it, I'm sure, very well. Um, and well done to Joe Smith as well. True, um, amazing, credible coach, and he must be on cloud nine at the moment. So let's get into it. Italy versus Scotland. What a thriller. What a thriller of a match. Credit to the Italians. They played like champions. They came in wanting to win unfortunately they didn't but they were there they showed heart they showed spirit they showed emotion they showed passion and they were determined they looked good they were dominant scotland were nowhere at the start um italy just walked in there with the right attitude the coach said he feels destroyed for the fans and for the players because he felt that they deserved it and rightly so um, i feel for the italians today but they can look up and be proud. The coach is doing something, and from that performance we can see something, and I think expect great things from Italy going forward. They've been in the media, like, should they be kicked out of um, the Six Nations, all that jazz, but last night was amazing, and they, could, they ended proudly. Um, yes, they lost, and it's going to be hard, but credit to them. Scotland, well done on third place, guys. You guys did win. You came back. You've got to play 80 minutes of rugby. You can't slack because then teams are going to, to come in at the end and win. And credit to Scotland. They've had an outstanding Six Nations tournament. Yes, there's been good times and yes, there's been bad times, but that's the beauty of sport. Um, highlight for them, winning the Calcutta Cup and beating England. First time in many, many years. So look, I'm sure your fans will be very proud of you guys. Um, I know I am as a as a fan of Scottish rugby. Truly amazing stuff, and well done on being third in the Six Nations. It was truly an incredible game, a thriller of note, um, and credit to both teams for putting on a performance to remember, especially the Italians. So well done on that cracking first game. Then I know we're not in order, but I want to leave the biggest game for last: France versus. Um, Sorry, we are France versus Wales. What a game. Manelian Stadium was packed. It was electric. The anthems were on fire. It was amazing stuff. Credit to the French. They're looking good. Um, I feel for them because that's two narrow losses. Um, obviously with Ireland at the start of the tournament. Um, but they can be proud of themselves. They beat England. They gave a good effort yesterday. And they're definitely looking on... They got on the rise. Um, French rugby was nowhere um, about a year ago. They weren't looking great. Um, but this new coach has got he's putting these procedures and game plans in place. And you can see an improvement. From a year from now, I think we're going to see a totally different French team. They're going to be strong. Um, and they're going to definitely be contenders for the Six Nations next year. Um, so credit to them. I think they can also be proud of this year's Six Nations effort um, and it was good to see definitely highlights for them and yes it was a loss but they put up a fight and they showed the Wales um, a thing or two Wales congratulations to you guys on being runners up of the Six Nations truly amazing stuff you were written off um, I know I said didn't I know I didn't see you guys doing that great but you proved me wrong you proved a lot of people wrong um, you had a bad end of your tour but you had a lot of injuries those guys came back and they showed your team and did your team proud um, you can definitely be proud of your performances um, you narrowly lost to England um, you beat Scotland convincingly in the game that probably everyone not everyone but a lot of people predicted you guys to lose and to get runners up is unbelievable stuff and credit to you guys for that um, I honestly thought you were going to be fourth or fifth so well done for proving us all wrong um, and, and a, a brilliant performance Gatlin credit to you too a lot of people have been calling for your head personally I think he's a, a fantastic coach um, and credit to him for sticking it out holding it on um, and Wales can be 
very proud of, of the, their performance during the whole Six Nations. Yes, yesterday it was an edgy game, but um, they won, they run us up, and credit where credit is due, and congrats to Wales and that one. Now, guys, we get to the big game. England versus Ireland at St. At St. Patrick's Day, on St. Patrick's Day, in Twickenham. What a game. I would have killed to have been in that crowd. It was unbelievable. The atmosphere was electric. Um, the anthems were incredible. It was just a genuinely phenomenal game. Ireland showed up. They showed up. They dominated. England are going through a tough patch. They weren't looking good at the start, but they showed spark. The second half kicked off. I think Eddie Jones ripped them a new one, and um, they looked good. They looked uh, like there could be a chance. Honestly, for me, the last 10 minutes, I was biting my nails, sitting on it, because I thought that England might pull a Scotland and win in the last minute or get a draw. Um, it was truly an incredible um, game. Now, British media is cruel and harsh, and I know they're going to be calling for heads. They're going to be calling for Eddie Jones to be axed. Personally, guys, I don't think he should be axed. He's a good coach. England are just going through a bad stage at the moment. They will bounce back. They've got phenomenal players. On paper, that is a genius team. They've got a big year ahead. They're going to need Eddie Jones there. To change a coach now, when the World Cup's right around the corner and a big year ahead of them three tests against South Africa against South Africa on a side note as a South African fan I'm smiling because there might be a chance that the Springboks could beat England <laughs> if they continue this bad form but um, that's going to be still a tough contest but we'll save that for another video but what um, oh, losing track Eddie Jones keep him guys he's good he's going to bring them back he's he's experienced he's been in situations like this before but um yeah he's got a big mouth sometimes doesn't know when to shut up but he's a genius of a coach and personally i see him taking england to the next level are england as strong as everyone thought they were a year ago no definitely not but they will bounce back i'm quite confident about that island joe smith island's team take a bow you guys were genius, as I said, you started with a bang and you were Grand Slam champions and thoroughly deserved it. Firstly, how are you guys feeling? Because I think a lot of you could be a little bit ropey this morning with a slight hangover because that was a St. Patrick's Day to remember. Dublin must have been pumping or everywhere in Ireland. Twickenham would have been pumping too or around there. I mean, South Africa was even pumping. There were photos of people all in green. I was drinking green beer last night. Um, it was truly unbelievable. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking of it. What a fitting end for an Irish fan. Winning in England on St. Patrick's Day. It's like a fairy tale dream story come true. Credit to the Irish. Credit to Joe Smith. That man is a genius. He's taken Ireland to a whole new level. I mean, it's unusual for uh, uh, a foreign fan like me as a South African to be so excited about rugby that doesn't involve my country. But it's just amazing. The Six Nations tournament has been amazing. I've loved every minute of it. Yeah. My passion for the sport just continues to grow because of the respect of the game, the love for the game, um, and watching these genius players play rugby. Johnny Sexton is one of my rugby sporting heroes, Matthew Burke and Johnny Wilkinson. I love the tactical kickers. Obviously, South Africa, I have quite a few favorites, but watching those guys, I used to try and copy their strategies because they were genius. But Johnny Sexton is guy to deserve into that whole level. He is a genius. Sorry guys for the alarm. Um, power's out and alarms are getting tricky. But what again, Johnny Sexton is in that level with all the greats around the world. He is pure class, he's pure genius, and congrats to Ireland. What a game, what a fight, what a tournament, what a year. Yes, they were shaky at the start against France, but they won. They won and they were phenomenal. Credit to all the teams. I'm going to do an overall recap of the whole Six Nations, my thoughts and opinions, but what an end to a fantastic 
tournament. It is truly amazing, truly am it's It's just a dream. I'm mumbling like mad because I'm still in shock of how great it was. What a tournament. Well done, Ireland. Well done, Joe Smith. Well done to the Irish fans. England, lift your heads up, guys. You will bounce back. I'm quite positive of that. To the rest of the teams, Wales, runners up. Well done. Um, and what a fantastic Six Nations tournament. I think Ireland are going to be on cloud nine for months and years. Big year. And, and stay tuned and make sure you subscribe, guys, because I'm going to do a video. Ireland versus New Zealand. Who is going to win? So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for that. But other than that, guys, thank you for joining me on this journey of the Six Nations. It's not over yet. I have loads more content planned. So make sure you subscribe. We are, I think, 15 away from 3,000 subscribers. 3,000 amazing people who have joined me on this journey. Big love and respect to each and every one of you. Keep joining. Hashtag Road to 5K. Come on, let's see if we can do it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who supported during the Six Nations tournament. It has been special and amazing, and I can't wait to, to do more international rugby as it goes on. It has been the tournament of the year. First tournament, really, of the year, but still brilliant stuff. And that's it. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up button. And as I just said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hashtag Road to 5K. Let's get there by the end of the year. Thanks once again. Island, rest well, because I'm sure you are feeling a little hungover this morning. But well deserved. St. Patrick's Day, special memory for me and for a lot of you guys. Stay safe. Never give up, and I'll see you soon for this week's um, overall recap of the Six Nations video. Cheers, guys. Stay safe. Never give up.